your DVR watch list is about to become a lot more crowded. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most anticipated TV shows of 2017. I wrote your song. Near, far, wherever you are. What are you doing? Sometimes I use things from the future to make them like me more. For this list, we're taking a look at the most buzzworthy shows set to make their debut in 2017. Either the world is crazy. Or you are. Number 10, Legion. He believes he's mentally ill. But he may be the most powerful mutant we've ever encountered. Legion is the first live action TV series based on the X Men comic books. Even more significantly, it's the first show set in the same universe as the X Men movies. Find what you were looking for. Dan Stevens of Downton Abbey stars as David Holler, a schizophrenic mutant who might have a connection to Charles Xavier. I know I'm a disappointment to you, Mosley, but it's no good. I'll never get used to being dressed like a doll. In addition to Matthew Crawley himself, the cast features the likes of Aubrey Plaza, Gene Smart, and Rachel Keller. Creator Noah Hawley previously brought Fargo to the small screen with stellar results. Convergence. You know, one thing reminds me of another. With Legion, he could take the X-Men franchise to the next stage of evolution. Let's just hope this spin-off has more in common with Deadpool and less in common with the made-for-TV movie Generation X. So what can you do? What can I do? I can make that girl pat a butter in your... <laughs> Number 9. Bill Nye Saves the World The new show is called Bill Nye Saves the World. How hard could that be? Mixing knowledge with comedy, Bill Nye the Science Guy was a rare educational show that actually made learning fun. The Earth is like a giant magnet, and that magnetism is the same thing that makes compasses point north. In Bill Nye Saves the World, our favorite science guy will break out the lab coat and bow tie once again. Saving the world is no easy endeavor, which is why Mr. Nye will have a team of correspondents by his side. The lineup includes TV personality Emily Calandrelli, comedian Joanna Hausman, comedian Nazim Hussein, fashion model Carly Kloss, and YouTuber Derek Muller. Premiering on Netflix, this talk show will cover a wide variety of topics, ranging from society to politics to pop culture, while always relating back to science. Go get him, Nye! All you have to do is keep watching. So friends, trust the science. Go hook yourself! Number 8. Gypsy with every passing year, more and more A-listers seem to be jumping on the Netflix bandwagon. In this drama series, two-time Oscar nominee Naomi Watts stars as Jean Holloway, a therapist who gets a little too close for comfort. I couldn't understand how you could talk to people again. How you could laugh. Tony Award-winning actor Billy Crudup plays her husband, who has his own fair share of baggage. Just make us look cool. Sam Taylor Johnson, who walked away from the Fifty Shades of Grey franchise to pursue other projects, will direct the show's first two episodes and act as an executive producer. My tastes are very singular. You wouldn't understand. With so much talent involved, Gypsy could follow in the footsteps of Hemlock Grove and Bloodline as Netflix's next must-watch thriller. I'm telling you, as your friend, as your buddy, okay, your family, they're the enemy, man. Number 7. Riverdale Riverdale isn't the first live-action TV series based on the world of Archie Comics. Unlike Sabrina the Teenage Witch, however... Did the cat just talk? Yes. Riverdale will ditch the comics' campy, light-hearted tone in favor of a darker, grittier story. With an ongoing murder mystery, this drama series has drawn comparisons to Pretty Little Liars and Twin Peaks. She's dead. Wrapped in plastic. At the same time, fans will still get to see all their favorite characters, including Archie, Jughead, and even Josie and the Pussycats. Although the project was initially in development at Fox, the CW eventually picked it up with Greg Berlanti of the Arrowverse as an executive producer. Wait, does that mean Archie Comics could have a crossover with DC Comics? So tell me, are you ready to die? Number 6. Gorilla 
From Stringer Bell to John Luther, Idris Elba has played some of the most iconic characters in modern television. Elba will have a key role in this Showtime miniseries, which centers on a couple of activists in 1970s London as the Black Power movement peaks. No, he come and go. John Ridley, who previously worked on the Oscar-winning 12 Years a Slave and the Emmy-winning American Crime, will act as a writer, director, and executive producer. Days ago, I was with my family in my home. Now you tell me all is lost. With unparalleled talent in front of and behind the camera, Gorilla promises to be a politically charged love story. I still love you. And I'm sorry. Number five, American Gods. So what would I call you if I was so inclined? Shadow Moon. Brian Fuller is one of the most gifted storytellers in television, having developed Dead Like Me, Pushing Daisies, and Hannibal. Not fond of eye contact, I am. Now, eyes are distracting. You see too much, you don't see enough. It's just a shame that all of his shows seem to get prematurely canceled. With any luck, though, his latest endeavor will be a critical and ratings hit. Fuller teams with writer Michael Green of Heroes for this adaptation of Neil Gaiman's best selling novel. American Gods follows Shadow Moon, an ex-con who encounters the mysterious Mr. Wednesday. This stranger turns out to be the Norse god Odin, who's traveling to America in search of old gods. Gillian Anderson, Cloris Leachman, and Ian McShane make up an all-star cast, giving us all the more reason to check out this star's original series. Come with me. Number 4. The Defenders As much as we're looking forward to the Punisher spin-off series, The Defenders is the preeminent event Marvel and Netflix have been building up to. The small screen equivalent to The Avengers, this eight-episode crossover brings together four fan-favorite superheroes, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Iron Fist, whose own show will be making its debut in 2017. This is my purpose. During their team up to save New York City, the Defenders will cross paths with Elodie Young as Elektra, Rosario Dawson as Claire Temple, and Sigourney Weaver as the Big Bad. This miniseries marks a major moment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is showing no signs of slowing down. You think the four of you can save New York? You can't even save yourselves. Number 3. Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events Your parents have perished in a terrible fire. Perished means killed. We know what perished means. Lemony Snicket's beloved book series previously made it to the silver screen in 2004. I'm going to get you no matter where you go, no matter what you do, I'll find you! While it was a solid adaptation, the film didn't attract enough of an audience to jumpstart a franchise. Almost a decade and a half later, a series of unfortunate events is getting a second life on Netflix. The story, of course, revolves around the Baudelaire orphans, children that attract doom and gloom wherever they go. In my library, you will find all the answers that you need. Let's get to work. In a dream casting choice, Neil Patrick Harris stars as Count Olaf, the devious villain hell-bent on stealing their fortune. This TV series will initially comprise of eight episodes, with two episodes devoted to each book. The show looks like whimsical family fun, although Lemony Snicket would probably advise you to watch something else. Don't make the same mistake that Netflix has and look away before this dire tale is even filmed and avoid the cruel whimsy and whimsical cruelty of what's to come. Number 2. Star Trek Discovery Star Trek might be a high-profile film series, but its roots will always be in television. Star Trek Discovery sets itself in the Prime timeline as opposed to the Kelvin timeline, which was introduced in J.J. Abrams' 2009 reboot film. Are you from the future? Yeah, he is. I'm not. Well, that's brilliant. The story takes place 10 years before Gene Roddenberry's original series, following the USS Discovery crew. The first Star Trek TV series since Enterprise wrapped things up in 2005. Who would have guessed? Vulcans and Andorians in the same band. Discovery will feature an overarching story that expands upon the franchise's mythos. 
Nicholas Meyer, who directed multiple Star Trek films, and Gene Roddenberry's son Rod will be involved in the project as well. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Working hard. No, hardly yeah. working. <laughs> it's Why can't a... you find us some easier work to do? Number one, Twin Peaks. Although Twin Peaks was canceled after only two seasons, it left behind a legacy unlike any other. To date, this serial drama is still viewed as one of the most influential shows in television history. It's taken over 25 years, but Twin Peaks is finally returning to television in the form of a Showtime limited series. This continuation will reunite several familiar faces, including Kyle MacLachlan as Special Agent Dale Cooper. There's nothing I can say to describe it. It's been absolutely wonderful. Creators Mark Frost and David Lynch are also back on board. This miniseries has gone through numerous delays, but that only has us more eager to see the final product. Why are we from the birds sing a freshly sung? However it turns out, Twin Peaks is bound to offer mystery, surrealism, and damn fine coffee. This is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, and this, this is one of the best. Do you agree with our list? What's your most anticipated show of 2017? What do you say, Baudelaire? Are you in? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. And we're all going to work together to dare I say it. Save the world! <laughs>